Hi, I'm Kelly Chatsey. I have full online classes and tutorials every month on my website at www.kellychatseyfineart.com. And I have over 10,000 students and over 15 years experience teaching art. So if you have a chance, head over to my website and check them out. So hey everyone, it's Kelly here. I have something exciting to share with you guys. We have started a brand new Facebook group called Art Exploration. And it's with myself, with Jessica Sanders, who is an artist and an instructor and a designer. She also teaches on Skillshare. And also Lisa Hetrick, who is a watercolor artist and a graphic designer and paper crafter. And she works with Gina K. I'll give you all their links down below and you can also click on it up here on the right hand corner and you can check out what they did this week. We are all working in the new Facebook group with the color red this month. So every month our Facebook group chooses a color and we're going to either talk about the color, we're going to talk about tips or tricks, and we're just going to get into a little bit more of some of the basics and more techniques. It may be with watercolor, it might be with alcohol ink, it could be with resin. We're going to be doing a bunch of different things. And if you want to join us over there and learn some things, we want you to share your projects as well. So we'll be working with the color red, as I said before. And I want to just talk about the color red a little bit. Red is such a beautiful, bold color. So I have these beautiful tulips that we just got in and they were opening up and I thought, how oh, perfect, it's the color red and that's the color that we're talking about this month. And it really red is just a powerful color. It, it, it talks about love, it talks about emotions and courage and it, it's very um, much an attention getter. So anything that's red is just very striking, very bold. And you can go with so many different shades of red. It's amazing. They have, uh, you know, the real bright reds. You have the burgundies. You have the pastel colors. You have all those beautiful colors of the fall leaves. You have more of the, the red-brown colors in nature as things start to progress in the fall and winter's coming. You have those real bright colors that are in the sunsets and the sky. Um, and then you have those beautiful uh, colors of red in for the holidays, those real vibrant, bright reds that we use during the holiday season. And then, of course, if you think about your lipsticks, you've got those beautiful red colors in wine colors. So it's just such a beautiful, beautiful color. And obviously it's a primary shade as well. So in order to have any of those other colors in the world, you have to have those primaries and red is one of them. So I thought I would share with you one of my favorite color reds. And it's one of the colors that it's in most kits that you'll see. And it comes in the tube paints, which I'm showing you here. And it also comes in the pans which I have at the top. So the top one is the Winsor Newton Cotman kit which I absolutely love. It's got 12 colors in there and it works for everything. I use them all the time in my online courses and then I have the two paints which are Cotman. You can also get those in artist quality. So I'm using the Cotman one here in the tube and I just want to show you it's really simple to use. It's you know, a lot of people when you're first starting out can waste a lot of paint if they're using the two paints. So I always recommend when you're first starting out to go with the pans, you do have to learn a little bit more about color mixing and it helps you realize that water is your friend and you can either have a real vibrant color, which is what I have here. So I have very little water with this and then you can really add more water to it and lighten those shades up. So I am using a brush that's already been dipped in water. It's already got paint on here, so it's not going to suck up my big puddle of red that I've made. And I'm just doing a very dark shade, so there's not a whole lot of water with this. Rinsing off my brush, adding a little bit more water this time, and I can get a little bit lighter shade. So let's see. Where the second line's a little bit lighter. You'll really notice this once they dry. It's a little bit harder to tell sometimes when they're still wet. And then we'll add even more water and we're going to go even lighter for the third stroke. So you can get a big variation of color just with one color of paint. So uh, I'm showing you today the tube paint just so you can get a feel for it. So it's a little bit more 
wouldn't say advanced because you can certainly use two paints uh, when you're first starting out as well. But I want you to practice the difference and try the difference, see the difference, test it out between your pans and your tube paints because tube paints are much are more, they're liquefied. You squirt them out. You can work with them immediately. You don't have to fuss with adding the water to it to get it going. With the Cotman pan, you do have to kind of work those colors and get a good amount of uh, water in there to get some of your colors going. So we're going to just do a very quick looking tulip using our CAD red. And I do have a little bit of a different angle than what you're seeing it because you're looking straight down. So it might look a little different on your view. But I'm just trying to get those little petals in there. And you can see they're not perfect. They've got a little bit of ridges in there. I'm going to do a couple of them here. Leaving even a little bit of white space. Let's come out a little bit further on this one. You can see I'm pushing down on that as I'm com coming around that corner with my brush. By the way, this brush is a great brush. It's a squirrel hair brush and it's brand new. I'll give you the information on this one too. And I do actually have it in my Amazon shop if you're interested. Plus I'll put a link for it down below for you. I'm going to add just a little bit of green to this. I am using my pan paints to mix that up. And I'm going to give you a close up on the bottom side of this tulip as well. You can see the stem here is nice and green, kind of a yellowish tint to it. And it's got a little bit of the yellow up here on the underneath of the flower as well. So I'm just putting just a touch of it in here. The great thing about these brushes is you can see it's got a real full belly on it, and the, which means the brush is nice and thick. It holds a lot of paint, but it's also got a nice point at the end of it. So when you're doing some detail work, you don't have to switch out brushes. You could just use the very fine point of this and it works very well for us. I'm going to add just a little bit more of that deeper shade of red in here. As you can see, all those different colors that we used up above are in these petals. So uh, it's a great practice for you if you want to take a take a, just a sheet of paper or work one color, see how many different colors you can get from it, and then utilize that in one of your paintings. And if we want to just do a small little tulip, maybe that's closed up, you can see how quick and easy that is. These are great for cards. Uh, they're great for practice. Um, you know, they're, they're great for anything. So. I hope I'll see some of your tulips. If you guys want to give it a shot, throw some tulips down in here. Give us some photographs of your work. If uh, you don't feel like doing reds and tulips, uh, use your red for anything. Use any medium. Uh, and also make sure that you're going to check out Jessica's and Lisa's YouTube video on the red as well. You might want to give that a go. So thanks so much for joining me. Make sure you click that like and share button. And we will see you guys next week. Take care. Bye-bye.